The human mind is one of the most powerful weapons that you can wield. So watch on to find out how your mind can overcome matter. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multisport and endurance events and training. I'm a strong believer in the power of the mind and that it's your mind that can push you beyond lines that you thought were previously barriers. I'm such a believer in this idea of mind over matter that I actually got it tattooed on me as a reminder that nothing is unachievable. Your mind is very powerful. Call it what you want, your soul, your consciousness, or your mind. This is what makes you, you. Whenever you're doing something, your natural instinct is for protectiveness for your body. So your mind will naturally make you wanna feel scared or make you feel like you can't go on with doing something. But if you dig deep enough, you can find it in yourself to push past this mental limit, to find the mental toughness to go further, faster and stronger. When you exercise, what pushes you to keep going? Your mind. What makes you push that little bit harder? your mind. Back when I first started running, I set myself a goal. That goal was to run a marathon and set a decent time for myself. Have you set yourself a goal to achieve? Let us know in the comments. The first step I did in trying to achieve my goal was to purchase myself an entry into the Canberra Marathon here in Australia's capital city. On the day of the race, I was pumped. I wanted to achieve it. The race started great. There were loads of people there, so loads of people that I could pace myself off. I got past two kilometers, nice and easy. Four kilometers, nice and easy. 10 kilometers, that was still pretty easy. 15 kilometers, legs starting to hurt a little, but still pretty easy. 20 kilometers, I started watching some of the people who were doing the half marathon. They took a left turn so that they could go and finish their race. That idea of that I was only halfway through the race, that was the hard part. It's at that point where you, all you want to do is just sit down, have a rest. That's where you need to get your mind and push past that mental barrier. That's where it is mind over matter. I pushed myself. I thought I can and I will do this. 22 kilometers, still a long way to go. 26 kilometers, actually this isn't too bad. 32 kilometers, my legs are really starting to feel sore but I know I can do this. 40 kilometers. I need to push myself. I am almost there. You can push yourself past so much more than you realize. You have the stamina, you have the health, you have the willpower, you just need to realize it. You just need to find it. Once you think to yourself, I am not giving up. That is when you can push yourself further, faster and harder. 41 kilometers. My legs are on fire. I just want to lie down, but it's so close. There's the finish line up ahead. There's loads of people cheering in the crowd. There's the final straight, the finish line. It is so close. It is right there in your grasp. And you are going to push yourself to achieve that. The power of a positive mindset is an amazing thing. The more that you believe you will achieve something, the more you're likely to achieve it. Rather than thinking you might be able to achieve something, if you believe firmly that you will achieve something, then your subconscious will start driving you to achieve that goal and it'll naturally help you push yourself, push yourself just that little bit harder. Be confident in yourself. Tell yourself that you will achieve that goal no matter what. And guess what? You will achieve it. Finally, 42.2 kilometers. The goal of the marathon has been achieved. You have achieved your goal. You finished the marathon. You feel exhausted, but elated. Your legs feel like they're on fire and you want to lie down, but you feel like you can fly. No goal worth achieving is free from effort, or at least that's my opinion. The more you have to push yourself, the more that you have to use your mind to get past those mental barriers, the more you have to use your mental toughness to overcome mental hurdles, the more rewarding the end goal is, the more rewarding the experience is in general. And the completion of this marathon back years and years ago has, is what's given me this boost of hunger to try and achieve more in life. And what's ultimately led me to where I am now, aiming to achieve an Ironman. Have you had any experiences in using mind over matter? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you want to get triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.